Hello everyone. In the previous couple of sessions, we've been talking about data binding, uh, but in this session, I'd like to uh, move away from data binding uh, and talk about navigation and routing. Uh, the code for the data binding, I'll put it in the GitHub link down below, uh, but in this session, we'll be talking about navigation and routing. So let's go ahead and start. Let's create a sample application from the template. Uh, so we'll create this basic SAP UI5 application, and then here we'll call this routing1, give it a namespace com.sap, and let's start with the app as the view name. So we'll talk about the basics of uh, navigation and routing and then go into more advanced topics later on. So at this time, we're just creating a basic uh, SAP UI5 application. And I'd like to talk a little about routing and how it happens in SAP UI5. So in SAP UI5, uh, it is a single page application. So SAP UI5 uh, is a single page application so what that means is there's only one page. So in traditional web applications, uh, you have multiple pages. So say you may have sap.com slash products. You may have sap.com slash employees. Uh, and then you may have sap.com slash uh, customers and so on. Uh, so every time the browser requests the server for a page, so this is a completely new page, uh, it could be an HTML page, the server renders this page to the client. Uh, so this is how a traditional web application works. Uh, whereas with SAP UI5 application, when you build, there's only one single page and everything here is stored in hash. Uh, so it's uh, based on hash-based URLs. Uh, so what that means is um, uh, in the URL, you have like a hash, and here is where you have your products, or you may have hash and then your employees, but it's all one single page, and then your hash and then your uh, customers and so on. But it's all one single page, uh, but everything that you see here uh, is kind of stored uh, after the hash symbol. Uh, so a good uh, uh, document, and we're pretty much uh, going to create our uh, session based on this uh, tutorial here. Um, so here you see that there's this hash right here in the URL, and then these are all the views, and then based on the hash, so if it is an empty pattern, then it goes to home. Uh, th then if it is uh, employees, then it goes to the employees list and so on. So that's how the single page application works. So everything behind the hash is what we are keen on. Now what we could do is, uh, so SAP UI5 has like a very powerful routing feature built inside of it. Uh, but you may think, hey, it's fairly simple. So if there is a hash and if there is a value called products, uh, we can just map it to the products view, uh, products view.xml. And then if there is a hash employees, uh, then we can map it to a um, employees dot uh, view dot xml so what's the big deal right uh, but there's uh, more to it uh, sometimes uh, whatever this hash may not just have one xml but it may have uh, it may point to two views uh, or maybe even three sometimes in a flexible column layout uh, and then you have uh, uh, mandatory parameters you have optional parameters so there's a lot more than just like a one-to-one -one mapping between whatever is behind the hash uh, with, uh, with the view. So, so that's why we have this uh, powerful navigation and routing feature in SAP UI5. So let's look at the application that we just built and see what is going on. Uh, so here, uh, the most important file uh, when it comes to navigation and routing is manifest.json. So this, con this has the... Uh, this has the routing feature. So here, if you look at the routing, uh, so there is a section for routing. So in this application that we just built, it's like a bare bone application that we just built. Uh, there is a section in manifest.json with routing. And there's like three sections to it. There is the config section. Uh, there is the route section. 
and there is the target section and this controls how navigation behaves so if you understand these three sections then everything will be very clear so let's start with the first section this first section uh, pretty much uh, 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 specifies the default values so here it says the uh, view type is XML and this is the default value for all of these things so since this default value is specified here we can pretty much take it out of here so we don't even need to sp specify it here uh, so this uh, value is uh, the default and the router class we are using the SAP M routing router there's also SAP UI core routing router as well but here in this application we are using the SAP M routing uh, router uh, and then the view path and this tells hey this is where my views are so um, so our namespace and this was the name of our application pretty much and then this is the folder view so so it's pretty much pointing to this folder here and this is the file that we are looking at okay so what I uh, want to do is I want to start with uh, my whole like uh, I don't want to start with the app.view.xml. I just I don't want to put any stuff in there. I want to keep it a bare minimum, and then but I want to start my app with uh, home.xml. So let's go ahead and create a home.view.xml because uh, I want to keep my app.view.xml uh, very clean. So I create this home.view.xml, and then I'm also going to create a corresponding home.controller.js now what I want to do is um, I want to make sure that the routing happens in such a way that it uh, takes me to home dot uh, 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 instead of going to app I want to go to ha home uh, so um, what I'll do is uh, let me also talk quickly about this routes and targets um, so this tar uh, this pattern here, uh, this specifies uh, our hash. So uh, this specifies uh, what is uh, what is after the hash symbol. Uh, so the pattern uh, pretty much basically is what is after the hash symbol. So in our case, I'm going to make it uh, like this because when we start our application, I want to go to the home. Uh, so if there is a pattern that has nothing in it, nothing after the hash, then I want to go to home. Now here we can give it a name for this route itself. Uh, so I will call this route as home. And the target, now this is an array, but in our case, it's just going to point to a single view. So I will call it, I'm going to call all my targets starting with target itself. So that way we know it's a target. Uh, so any, so but basically what you're saying is anytime we see a pattern with uh, just uh, with an empty pattern, uh, so the hash is empty pretty much, uh, I want to use this target to go home and here, I can specify target home. Uh, let me clean up all of this. I don't need all of this because the default value in config has taken care of that. And I will just say that I, I can even remove this pretty much. And I'll say that I want to go to my home view. And I will also say that the view level is going to be one. So I've set it up so that my view level is one. Um, I have my home here. This is uh, just a name to uh, specify this route. So if I have to, at some stage, programmatically get to this route, I can just say home. So there are times when I can do nav to, and then I can just say home, and then it will navigate to this pattern and this target home points to view and home. Now we've created the view and home, but there's like absolutely nothing in it. So let's uh, put some stuff in it. Let's create like a, a pretty much an empty home. Uh, so let's create this guy. I don't need these buttons for now. So there's like nothing in it except a blank view. Uh, the title says home, uh, so which is good. 
and then let's go to the controller itself and the controller also is going to be a pretty blank controller uh, so let me just take what is in here and I'll just copy it into this home controller and I will call this home Now, one thing I also want to do is, uh, like I said, I want to keep app.view.xml pretty, pretty clean. So I don't want anything in this. And that's how I like my applications. I'll just uh, delete everything. Uh, so this is, uh, I can even make it self-closing here, I guess. So my app file, uh, app.view.xml is completely clean. Uh, so this is my root view. Uh, but based on my uh, based on my routing, uh, it should take me to home.view.xml. So if everything is set up correctly, I should go to my home.view.xml, and the title should say home. So let's uh, run it. Let's run the index.html. Okay, so it says home. So that means we have successfully used our navigation to go to this home.view.xml. Uh, so in the next session, we'll talk a little bit more. We'll build up on this. Uh, but for now, uh, this is a very basic navigation and routing uh, session. Thank you.